You know, you've been pretty hard on uh, our representatives in Congress today. And I think <laughs> yeah. unfairly so. Unfairly, unfairly so. so. Unfairly so. Yeah. Okay. Because, I mean, they're they're doing some solid things. Are they? Too. Yeah. Really? Maybe not the ones who are on the take, you know, with yeah. the insider <laughs> trading information. Right, which is about 70% of them. <laughs> but <Right>? that... <laughs> The other 30%, the other 30%. they're on the job. And yeah. they're educating uh, Americans. Really? Uh, Sheila Jackson Lee oh. was out speaking to high school kids, <laughs> for instance. Uh-huh. And uh, she was talking about the moon, you know, because oh. the moon was just in front of the sun and blocked oh. it for a while. So I think okay. she had some interesting facts. Really? On the moon. On the eclipse and the moon. And Yes. Yeah, okay, here it is. provide unique light and energy. Mm-hmm. So that you have the energy of the moon at night. Right. And sometimes you've heard the word full moon. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you need to take the opportunity just to come out and see a full moon is that complete rounded circle. Oh. <laughs> which is made up mostly of gases. Oh. It's what? Yeah, and that's why the, gas. question, the question is why or how could we as humans uh-huh. live on the moon? Right. Are the gases such that we could do that? <laughs> <laughs> the sun is a mighty powerful heat. Well, it's almost, yeah. uh-huh. almost impossible. Almost impossible to go near the sun. To go near it. The almost. moon is more manageable. Yeah. And you will see <laughs> uh, in a moment, or not a moment, you'll see in a couple of years uh, that NASA right. is going back to the moon with all that gas. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's manageable, and it's a it's a gas such that. You can stand on it. You can stand yeah. on the Almost gas. Almost like the gas was a solid. <laughs> but it's not. But it's not. It's, it's not. gas. Okay. So that's, it's not, I'm, now see, I'm learning a lot here. <laughs> okay. It's not impossible to <laughs> no. stand. No, but almost on the, on the sun. On the sun. But yeah. It, I, I mean, it'd be hot, I, right? When you go there, yeah, you'll be uncomfortable I've been if to, you try to live there on the sun. I've been to places where it's hot before. Right. So it'll just be a little, little hotter, hotter than, than that. that. Okay, so yeah. we'll, so, oh, all right, we Big bring deal. an air conditioner. Right. Okay, so <laughs> I didn't know that, because I thought it was impossible to stand on gas. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah. Well, she's this saying gas that's not. is such that it's possible. Okay. To live there and to stand there. Wow. Yeah, because so we already the, have, obviously. And hang on just a sec. What was that mm-hmm. full moon thing? The full moon was... Yeah, it's like a full circle. When you see the the entire circle, the round thing, it, orb in the sky, that's the full moon. You're not supposed to look at that round orb at the sky. No, that's okay to look at because its <laughs> energy is such that... Oh. Yeah. Oh, the, the, the moon's yeah. energy. The moon's energy. Yeah. And the moon's light. Yeah. It's a pretty good light, but it's not like... <laughs> It's Other. more of a nightlight. Yes. It's kind of nice. Yes. So what I don't makes... think she understands the moon doesn't have its own light. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't think, think she knows I that. I don't think she knows that either. <laughs> I don't think she knows. It's awesome. I mean, is that, that is. incredible? Wow. Gas. Yeah. The moon. Gas. You know what? Could you play that again? Because notice <laughs> no one laughs. <laughs> right. I'm not sure. Because she is not joking. <laughs> right. I know. But no one laughs. I'm not sure anyone in the audience knows she was wrong. <laughs> provide unique light and energy mm-hmm. so that you have the energy of the moon at night. No, you don't. <laughs> and sometimes you've heard the word full moon. You've heard, that? heard that? Yeah. Sometimes you need to take the opportunity just to come out and see a mm-hmm. full moon is that complete rounded circle. Complete rounded. Which is made up mostly circle. of gases. Right, right. And that's no, why the, no. push, the question is why... Or how could we as humans live on the moon? We don't. Are the gases <laughs> such that we could do that? No. But we don't. No, it is. The sun it is. is a mighty powerful heat. <laughs> and it's almost, this is almost impossible, almost impossible to, go near the to go near it. To go near it. The moon is more manageable. Quite. And you will see uh, in a moment, or not a moment, I, I, you'll see in a couple oh, of years that NASA uh, is wow. going back to the moon. Okay. With the gas. With the gas. Yes. You the gas. To stand on the gaseous wow. moon. Yeah, so wow. it's going to be cool to see. So how much of that gas do we get from the moon? I mean, it must cost Exxon a lot <laughs> to, to get, get the, the gas, gas from the moon to here. To the pump, or is there yeah. a way? Yeah. Do we have a hose running from the pumps? It's a pipeline. It's we a have pipeline. a pipeline from the moon to the earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That she has been represented oh her district in Houston, Texas, for over thirty years. 
Oh. I, it's, wow. She should never talk about space <laughs> ever again, or anything else for that matter. But do really? remember, but definitely not space. She was at NASA and asked them while she was doing a tour of NASA about whether or not you could still see the American flag that was planted on Mars. That was in the we, we, like late eight, late nineties or early two thousands. We, we didn't plant one. No, we've never been <laughs> no, to Mars. We've, we've, we've never, never been. To, been wait there. a minute, that's no. new now. Yeah, I knew I we didn't bring a flag. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't bring a flag. But, no human we left has ever we forgot been. It, right? We forgot the right flag, after, right. and then we forgot to put the human on Mars. Right. So yeah, there's no flag on Mars. We forgot to put the human on board too. Yeah. Yeah. Who is responsible for that? <laughs> it's stupid <laughs> NASA engineers. Wow, so we landed a ship down there, yeah. and nobody was on board. Nobody on board. Wow. Pathetic. Did it slip into the gas? <laughs> no, not on Mars. Not what, are a- you stupid? Well, no. <laughs> not I- on Mars. It's <laughs> the Mar- moon that's gas. Right. Mars is cheese. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get that butt stupid? I don't know. Seriously. I really don't know. How could you, if you were sitting, because if you were sitting in a meeting, now imagine this, okay? You've been to meetings where you're like, this person's a moron, but Mm -hmm. you're doing work. There's something that you have to, you just, you just have to plow through it because you just have to, you have to get through it. You're selling this person something, whatever it is you do for a living and you're sitting in that meeting and they say something stupid, and you just have to go, mm, yeah, huh, huh, <laughs> and you just move on, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't think I would have the human restraint. No. <laughs> no way. <laughs> to sit in a room and have her say, and you know, that's the full circle, <laughs> and it's mainly gas. I don't. I don't think I could do it. I think. This is a really, don't do this, kids, because Jesus would not have done this, but I'm telling you, I probably would have, I probably would have played with her like a mouse uh, and a cat. I probably would have been, wow, really, gas? What kind of gas is that? I think I would have. That is such that you can land on it and live there. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to know. Yeah. And yeah. so this gas, is it, does it have any air in it? <laughs> Or is it, or is it just oxygen? <laughs> or is it like a like a really hard gas, like a rock gas sort of thing? Is it that? Well, I know we brought some dust back, uh-huh. yeah, so we, we know it's a dusty gas. Yes. <laughs> oh, I couldn't. Wow. I couldn't do it. Okay. Uh, it's um, let me. Um, uh, speaking of representatives in Houston. Let me give you this. Uh, this is from the Black Lawyers podcast, which mm-hmm. I listen to all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is Texas Democrat Representative Jasmine Crockett. She's really good. Too. Uh, is she? She's really good. Yeah. yeah. yeah she is good. suggesting now <laughs> that black Americans shouldn't necessarily have to pay any taxes. Here she is. Just this past week, I saw, I don't remember which celebrity, but it was actually a celebrity. And I was like, I don't know that that's not necessarily a bad idea, mm-hmm. but I'd have to mm-hmm. think through it a lot. One of the things that they propose is black folk not have to pay taxes <laughs> for a certain amount of time, because then again, that puts money back in your pocket. But at the same time, mm-hmm. it may not be as objectionable to some people about actually giving out dollars. Yeah. But obviously, then you start dealing with the different tax brackets and things like that. And that's one of the reasons that, you know, we argue the reparations make sense. Uh-huh. That's powerful. <laughs> Isn't that a powerful point? <laughs> I still want to ask powerful. her about the moon. 